Okay, just a quick video to talk about how you can access some of the historical data via your Tesla Powerwall app. Okay, so I mentioned in my December video that um, I was trying to access some information on the power in terms of how much electricity had gone into the battery and out in uh, the month of December. But I, well, I know that was it. I could do it for December, but I couldn't see for the year to date. Um, and a few people uh, made some comments about in the future, you can use like pvoutput.org, I think it is, to be able to track some of this stuff using the APIs of the solar system and the power. And I might look at that. Um, but Ed, my friend was kind of messing around and he found something that I thought was interesting. So I will just quickly share that with you. So bring up the Powerwall um, on the side here. So as you can see, and we kind of spoke about previously, you think that you go into performance because this is where you go to see kind of how things are performing right now. So today, I've had the power off and the solar off for a little while because I've had a new smart meter installed by Octopus Energy so I can use their Economy 4 tariff which we'll probably talk about in the uh, January uh, kind of solar stats and everything, see how that's going. The plan is to fill up the power wall with cheap electricity during the winter whilst the solar's not that great. But anyway, so the thought would be that you'd look into performance because this is where you go to see basically how the system has performed. So if I want to look at yesterday, you can see that, you know, the first two percent solar, 10 percent power wall. If we look at the whole week, um, you know, we can see that. You can see that it says 3rd to the 10th of January. You can't customize or alter any of that. Look at the month, so obviously month of January to date. Uh, and then when we went to the year, obviously it's only telling me in terms of so far in 2019, which is kind of great, but it's not obviously real historical data. It's kind of more near time, real time type of stuff. But what Ed noticed is when you're in the power flow screen, um, that if you tap on um, one of the icons, you can see data. So we can see here in terms of today, um, the solar generation. But if I click that today, you have a similar kind of menu which we had in the performance menu. But when you look at year, you'll see this is now saying um, for for the year 2018. So, um, and, there's, and there's some kind of cool little things on here. So if we look at the power wall, now we have uh, a bit more information. So we can see from when the power wall was installed, so the 1st of October through to obviously the end of December, the power wall had 189 kilowatts of solar go to it. And from there, I was able to consume 163 kilowatts. So that's uh, around 86% efficiency. So Tesla say that it should be 90% efficient. Um, mine's kind of worked out in that in the quarter that I've had it to be about 86% efficient, which I think is still good. I'm not sure if the hit on efficiency is due to kind of heat and cycling. So Ed's is slightly uh, better in terms of efficiency than mine. But he has been putting regular charge into it on an economy tariff where even though I'm getting some charge into it pretty much every day, something is going in there, but it can be quite minuscule uh, depending obviously what the daylight is like. So um, I'm wondering if that the cycle element has an impact on efficiency, but I still think that's pretty good. Um, and it's gonna be interesting to see kind of how things perform next year. So the whole year of having it, what is the, the end result in terms of how much goes in and how much I get out of it. It will be a little bit skewed, of course, because um, I'm going to be getting some of it from the grid at the cheapest, so it won't just all be solar. Um, but obviously, it still helps reduce the bills. So, I need to see in the app if in the future it will distinguish between the off peak pull versus the solar stuff. So, we'll, we'll see how that is. But there you go, I just thought it would help. So, there is a way to see a little bit more historical data, um, not just. Um, specific for um, you know, the 2019 stuff, which I thought I was kind of restricted to. So there you go. Hope it's helpful. 
Um, yeah, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.